Hey y'all, it's Olive Destiny, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you all start to finish how I apply this wig's everything. Everything, okay? And special thank you to Wild African for sponsoring this video, helping me to switch up my look, give me some fun, cute color to play in. If you all want to use my coupon code, it is Destiny15 to get you 15% off with Wild African. So all of the details about this hair will be in my description box down below. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. I want to try that cute thing that I did for one of my last videos. Let's see if I can do it again. Guys, so I'm currently braiding my hair down. Yeah, I've already done all of this. I didn't wash my hair prior because I just washed my hair a few days ago. I am applying the Lotta Body with coconut and shea oils. This is the Love Me 5 in 1 Miracle Styling Cream. It detangles, conditions, it's a heat protection, it adds moisture and shine, prevents split ends, and it tames. Freeze is good for natural and relaxed hair. It does come on the little spray, but because I don't really have any left, I apply that onto the entire section. The oil that I'm currently using and this is my first time trying out this oil whenever I run out of an oil I normally just purchase something else before this I was using the castor oil with peppermint I wanted to try this one instead this is do grow it's the anti-itch oil I haven't gone to the dermatologist yet you know when you schedule appointments and stuff it's not immediately the next day as far as me having like a problematic scalp sometimes dandruff sometimes large flakes that probably is not dandruff possibly psoriasis I say possibly because in my previous videos I have discussed that I'm not self diagnosing myself I don't really want to take things from the comment section and run with that either unless it's like professional information that's being told to me but we'll find out my point is this says anti-itch oil and there was other different options for do grow it would say something different in this area like halfway through this bottle I purchased it about a week and a half ago and I absolutely love this the anti-itch portion Fendi fat I'm kidding <laughs> my scalp when it gets flaky it itches really bad when I washed my hair I did apply this as well and I don't recall having to like dig and scratch in my scalp too much. It has tea tree oil, shea butter, and a vitamin formula. It eases scalp tightness. That's what my scalp has sometimes when I have to try to like do it like this. It helps to reduce breakage, allowing the hair to grow longer. It doesn't have mineral oil, petroleum jelly, or silicone. It says you can use it on damp or dry hair. You don't rinse it out. You can massage it into your hair. I need to do a video just discussing products that I'm currently using recently with you all as well. I have a call from my mom. I'll be back. If you don't want to braid, your hair underneath the wig another option sometimes i wear a low ponytail be sure to moisturize your hair regardless of which method you choose and now your wig prep routine is complete i just used some eco style gel to brush back my edges <laughs> So in my last video where I was working with them, I was actually trying to use a wig grip. So I think it's pretty cool of them to actually include one in here. Oh, this one has like the little party space down the middle lace right here. That was what my problem was last time. You could see the wig grip. And I think some of you all told me when you use the wig grip that you don't also use a wig cap. So if I'm able to use the wig grip today, then we won't need the cap. And then also in here, some details about well, African and caring for your wigs and everything back details I forgot to show you all this last time there is the fly away frizz tamer right in here by wild African that we'll use as well so let's give the wig grip another try so I want to go for a center part if I end up moving the part then I'll just move the grip along with it this is nice wild African I like I like we got two wigs in here there we go for these wig video stealing companies out there yeah this is the one I want to do I want to wear her today I want some color 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 okay this is CLW 10 and she's 18 inches take off the net she's cute she's already curled okay elastic band is included I'm going to move mine to the middle strap like that and also adjust the straps in the back cut off the lace in the back get as close as you can I think I cut off some of the hair in the back but it's cool I never put it in the ponytail anyway okay Opa. I don't like these scissors I be trying to use them because y'all have recommended them but they so big and bulky they don't help me get close to the lace at all let's put her on let's put her on Woohoo! <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh. So you all know my scalp has been behaving without me gluing these down. So we're not gluing. We're using Nairobi yet again. Yet again, she says. Voice over Destiny says, hello. It's time to do her thing now. So the wig is already pre-plucked. So I'm not going to do any extra plucking. I did do a little bit to the center portion near the part off camera the next morning. Want to go ahead and cut off the lace. If you plan on using got to be glue gel or some bold hold glue, whatever to actually lay yours down then you can leave the lace on until after you 
apply that I see some people cut theirs off after since we're not gluing it down at all we need to go ahead and remove that using some of the Nairobi to define the parting space I'm gonna go ahead and keep the center part I always wear a side part so this middle part is for you guys and using a fine tooth comb that helps me to really part out the hair next I'm gonna go ahead and take a small amount of hair from the front using my little scissors to just trim away at that those are from Shein if you all are interested I use them for cutting down my lashes now I'm going to go ahead and take the Nairobi foaming lotion you can use any foaming lotion that you would like but if you're gluing it down just be sure to you know not use too much because it'll lift your lace right back up then I'm going to take out another small section to use as the baby hair and I trim away at it slowly that way I don't cut off too much from the beginning once I'm satisfied, a little bit satisfied, I'm going to take some Eco Style Gel and that'll help to hold the edges down even further and keep them in place. I'm just continuing to trim away at the edges so that I can get them short like I would like. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my hot comb. A lot of you all said that you hadn't seen one like this before. I purchased this at my local beauty supply store. It's by the brand Annie. I'll link everything that's linkable in the description box down below. So now I'm going to take some pressed powder that matches my skin tone and just define the hairline a little bit more by running a really small brush down the center of the part. And then I'm going to take the um, little Frizz Ease product that Wild African provided and use that to time the flyaways. I'm taking some Paul Mitchell Gloss Drops and I'll be using this to curl my hair using my Numi Curling Wand. There is only a on and off dial on this one. Um, some of you all were kind of worried about that last time, but most things that have like a standard temperature setting, it's not at 450. It's probably about 375. Either way, this isn't my hair, so I'm not too particular about that. I just want my wig to look good, okay? So I'm taking small sections. Some of them I curled forward, some of them I curled back. That will keep the curls from clumping together. This gives the hair more of a luminous look, and I'm just working my way all the way to the front to avoid boring you all. I'm not going to show the other side too much. We're just going to repeat that same process. I did apply some of the Glam Force Hold Spray. I purchased that at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen it anywhere in stores to let you all know where else you can get it. But of course, I always do my research and find things to link in the description box for you all below. So don't run your hands through the curls too quickly. Let them cool, let them sit while you maybe, you know, touch up the edges a little bit more. I'm sly with my edges today. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and give myself that much. I was, mm, because I really just couldn't decide if I wanted to do edges. I was trying to decide if I wanted that no baby hair look. Either way, after the curls have cooled, now I began running my fingers through them. That is what helps me to not have to curl my hair daily. All I do is put flexi rods back in my hair and then I'm good to go. After the edges have basically been set, I'm just doing a little fine toning. At this point, you can comb the edges out if you don't want them to be like, you know, stuck down to your forehead or too perfect. You want them to kind of look a little effortless, you know? Or we try to do our best to make it not look like a wig as best as we can, but y'all get what I mean. That was pretty quick. That voiceover went so fast. Oh my goodness. Wow. Did a little bit more plucking just to kind of thin out the baby hairs. And this is the finished look, guys. Ooh la la. New hair, who this? Same number, who this? It is actually the next day. Since I did just use the wig grip underneath, this isn't laid down at all. I guess I'll show you all without messing it up. So. Basically at night I take about eight of the gray flexi rods and I put the rollers into my hair Since it was rainy in Memphis today I didn't do too much fluffing just because I would be in and out of the car running errands and everything I want my curls to just hold all day and then I'm able to take off the wig and sit her to the side Or put it on my mannequin stand come right back to it My edges will still be laid see how they kind of stay in place when you set them like that And I just put it right back on put the wig grip back on let me make sure I didn't mess anything up That allows me to care for my own hair underneath since I'm able to take 
take this off nightly and again you can switch up your look if you would like I can have on a totally different wig the next day by doing all glueless wigs if that makes sense I don't have to deal with the hassle of like wetting it with water and then it's just messed up in the front and that helps me to be able to oil my scalp with my new grow anti itch oil yeah I like that being able to care for my hair underneath and slay at the same time let me know what you all think about this look I didn't do too much I'll be honest mostly I just laid my baby hairs right here that's the good thing about a center part you can kind of just disguise and go well, Africa did a really good job on this color too. Like it's blended nicely. It's not any harsh lines within the color at all. Everything just flows really seamlessly. When they do color wigs, they do them very nicely. And that also means that I don't have to deal with trying to color it at home. If I could just get one that's already done for me, I just want you all to see how it behaves. Yeah. I did decide to go with the middle part just to switch things up mostly for you all because y'all know I'm a side part type of girl. Definitely follow me on Instagram to see how I may change up this hair because I do want to do like a center part in the and just bone straight because that's so out of the norm for me. I always love when I do color hair. I don't know, it's just something about color hair that just makes me feel different and I could just take a break from feeling like myself. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know, girl. I gotta get out of here. I got to... <laughs> I'm sure y'all don't want to know, but I gotta go. <laughs> Again, special thank you to White Africa for sponsoring this video. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's absolutely free to do so, so I would love it if you would. That way you can be notified. Also, if you turn on your notification bell, you won't miss any of my uploads. Go ahead and click over here to watch more. Mm. If you want to see me with more color hair, color hair or maybe more glueless installs where we could just slap it on and go, click on one one of these be sure to click over here on my cute little face to subscribe to my youtube channel like i said it's absolutely free to do so chat with me in the comment section down below i love chatting with y'all and reading your comments and i'll talk to you in my next video bye